Three former HIH directors, including businessman Rodney Adler, have faced court over claims they breached their duties. The corporate watchdog ASIC took the action over deals worth $10 million in the months before HIH collapsed. It's another glimpse behind the walls of HIH and looks at the actions of former directors like Rodney Adler. The Australian Securities and Investments Commission alleges Mr Adler, ex-CEO Ray Williams and former finance director Dominic Federa breached their duties and improperly used their positions, an accusation strongly denied. ASIC have a right to investigate. I have the right to defend myself and that's what this case is about. ASIC's claims surround a $10 million deal in June 2000, the money handed by an HIH subsidiary to a company Mr Adler controlled. $4 million was spent buying HIH shares at a time they were struggling on the stock market, another $3.8 million went to buy three investments owned by Mr Adler's company, two of which went into liquidation within months. Today, ASIC told the Supreme Court overall the loss suffered by HIH exceeded $7 million. But I believe that at the end of the case we will find that my name has been vindicated and what I did was, was correct and proper. This hearing doesn't directly relate to the $5 billion collapse of HIH insurance but rather the dealings of directors in the months before it. The collapse of the insurance giant will be dealt with by the Royal Commission beginning next week. Lawyers for Ray Williams told the court their client couldn't afford to fully participate in this hearing, having to instead concentrate on being represented at the Royal Commission. The hearing is expected to last four weeks. Eddie Meyer, 10 